It's been a while, so uh, let, one second, forgot something. Hey everyone, I'm Rob. Welcome back to Slashback Friday. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Slashback Friday uh, here at On The Fence Movie Review. And uh, it's been a while and I did some watching of a few shows and actually the one I wanna to talk to you today and kinda of go over today and review um, is not, uh, it's not a movie. It's actually a series. It only has one season. It's on Netflix, and it is called Black Summer. Now, for those of you who don't know what Black Summer is, it is pretty much, um, I mean, I, I want to stay away from the kind of what everyone goes to with this, but it's 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 zombies, and uh, when you think of zombies, you think of The Walking Dead, um, sometimes World War Z, uh, Z Nation, but... Um, the reason uh, I actually enjoyed, for the most part, Black Summer, um, the cinema, cinematography in this movie and just the way the camera works, um, I really enjoyed it. it, it it's got, it's very, got a very small story, I feel, but um, the way it's shot makes it feel uh, very large in scale. And... Um, the it kind of the whole the whole se the whole first season. There's only one season. Whole first season kind of follows um, this mom and her daughter and father at the be very beginning. It kind of follows them. And this probably I really enjoyed. Uh, it get, that's what kind of gets you hooked at the very beginning. Uh, the first very first episode when it first starts off, you're following uh, the family. Uh, they're trying to get to a certain um, uh, like a I would say uh, like a. Uh, a base um, where you know there's army people there and they're going to take them to uh, a different place a safer place you know some place that's de designated safe so everyone's trying to get there and as they come out of their house getting their stuff trying to hurry uh, you see other people uh, coming out with them trying to get to the place and it, there's a slow gradual buildup where where they're walking and then they, you feel like the urgency and then they're kind of jogging and then more people start to come out. And the way the camera follows them uh, while they're they're going through the street, you know, to uh, an area, you know, their, their neighborhood, the camera follows them through, their, through the streets and just the way it looks and the with people coming out of their houses, coming out of everywhere to go to this, uh, this safe, this safe uh, spot where the army are, you know, they're checking them in, they're going to take them somewhere else. Um, and the gradual buildup of them going from walking to kind of jogging to running and then just full on out running uh, to get to this place. And in the midst of this, people get separated. Um, but what I like about it is there's a bunch of different stories and it's almost um, you feel like it's in, in chapters the way they they uh, they filmed this and shot this. And it, it, it kind of is, it, you know, you get there's little like it's maybe you get 10, 7, 10 minute sometimes a little more than 10, 15 maybe, of like one person's story, and then the next person's story, and the next person's story. But then these three people's stories, separate at one point, um, they kind of cross over while they're in their story, and eventually you know, they meet up, or they come across and group up and team up together to kind of um, you know, complete this objective of getting to a safe base area. And... Just the overall, I enjoyed the this series so much. This is actually it came out, I believe, last year, and um, I rewatched it again because I did enjoy it the first time I watched it, and I just thought like, hey, let me give it another watch, let me see if I really enjoyed it. I kind of stood away from it because you know it, it does get um, referenced back to as far, as far as like, oh, you know, The Walking Dead, but these zombies run, so that's a big difference. Almost, I would say like it, it's a mixture between World War Z and and uh, uh walking dead but it's in its own lane i feel because it does is um it has a dark element to it and it's very graphic and and some people do some crazy stuff but it's like what would you do in that situation and you got to think it of it like that and i really i just i like it i think i've said it already i really enjoyed this series the first season um 
you know, I will say a few negative things. Um, there's certain things that, you know, are kind of uh, about the zombies. I'm just like, you know, it's been done before. That is the one kind of standout negative thing is that it's zombies. How many times can you do zombies? How many ways can you do zombies? But, you know, uh, for the most part, I feel like, you know, you kind of, you know what to expect from that. And then, um, you know, the the way the, I guess, I don't want to spoil anything, but the way the kind of the series ends, um, I guess maybe it did its job in a good way because it leaves you wanting more. I felt when the series was over, or not the series, but the season was over, um, I felt wanting more, but I don't know if it was in a good way. Like, I definitely feel like I, I would enjoy a, a season two, but the way it kind of ends, I was just like, uh, how do I feel about it? But we'll see. It, that's what it is. Is like, I was like, we'll see what happens in season two. But overall, I enjoyed this uh, series. I hope they, uh, I hope they, you know, do a season two and season three of this. Cause I feel like it would be really good. Um, just some standout spots in this area. I mean, uh, just some standout spots that stood out to me. I don't want to, again, not giving anything away, but there's a uh, uh, area that takes place in a school. Crazy. Um, the last season, I mean, the last uh, whole episode of, I keep saying season, it's one season, but the last whole episode of the the season, the series finale, the season finale is just go 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 there is no downtime and i feel like that's another thing good that this movie does is um you you get some downtime and but then it's go 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 so i feel like they there's a mixture of of trying to connect with characters and then and then action but also at the same time i do feel like one of another negative negative things i will say is i do feel like you spend so much time like i said it's kind of in chapters you spend you know, five minutes with this person, a couple of minutes with this person, uh, you know, these two together, then these people together. And you spend so much time uh, cutting back and forth between characters. Um, you don't really, like overall, you're investing time with them, but individual, like as like a prolonged piece of a, a, a season, you don't really get to spend a lot of time investing with a certain character. It's like, okay, we watch them for like, you know, 30 minutes, it's not like that. You watch them for five minutes and you watch someone else for five minutes and you watch someone else for 10 minutes. And then it just kind of goes back and forth. And there is a lot of storylines um, in this movie that do eventually converge at the end. And, um, uh, you know, the one thing I did like also is people die. Uh, some characters you do like do die. And, and you know, I'm not spoiling anything there, but characters... Uh, I never, this is, I never felt like someone was not going to die. Honestly, I felt like the lead person in this series could possibly die. The second person in this series could possibly die. Do they die? Uh, I'm not going to say if they do or not. You're going to have to check it out for yourself if you're interested. But I will say I'm definitely off the fence uh, when it comes to Black Summer. So anyways... Um, thanks for tuning in to uh, Slashback Friday. Uh, uh, hopefully, we can get more of these out to you. Uh, I'm gonna try and do more and more and more. I want to, you know, kick it back up and get back going again. So, uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of Black Summer if you've seen it um, or other zombie uh, zombie types of shows or, or movies that you think. Uh, we compare maybe or that are actually you know you feel are pretty good let me know put them in the comments please like subscribe um and remember we'll catch you on the fence